Hi, kids. Today we're going to read a story about Lily the vet and how she helps all the pets. Here is Lily. She looks after animals that are sick. She is a vet. She is a vet. She arrives at work early in the morning because she thinks it might be a very busy day. A very busy day. This is her first patient of the day. His name is Andy, and he has brought his dog Max in. Hi, Andy. What happened, you and Max? Said Lily. Andy said, "Well, it was like this. We were at the skate park, and I was on my bike. I was on my." And Max was riding my skateboard. We were doing big jumps and having lots of fun. But Max fell off when I was not looking. I did not see him on the ground. Then I ran him over on my bike. When I hit him, it made me fall off. Made me fall off. I landed on my head. Now I have a very sore head, and Max has a sore paw. He has a sore paw. He has a sore paw. Andy, why was Max riding your skateboard? Said Lily. You were not being careful with your pet. Andy, please be careful. Do not hurt your pet. Do. Not hurt your pet. Lily X-rays Max's paw to see if it is broken. She says, "Andy, you are very lucky. Max's leg is not broken." Then she puts a bandage around Max's leg and waves them both goodbye. Goodbye. Be careful, kids. Can you say this word with me? Do you know what this word is? I'll give you a clue. What type of pet is Max? That's right. He is a dog. D a g, dog. Well done. Her next customer, Tessa, arrives with her cat, Fluffy. Fluffy has a giant fur ball on her back. Hi, Tessa. What is wrong with Fluffy? Says Lily. Fluffy made a strange coughing noise. <coughs> Tessa says, "Well, it was like this. We were at home, and I was spending too much time playing games on my device. And Fluffy is well, <laughs> very fluffy, and she must be given a brush each day. But I kept putting it off." I brushed my own hair because I wanted to look good. To look good, but I did not look after Fluffy. Then she developed a giant fur ball on her back. On her back, she licked it and she licked it, and a fur ball got stuck in her tummy. She couldn't cough it up. <laughs> Hmm. You did not look after Fluffy, did you, Tessa? Said Lily. She has got a giant fur ball on her back and another one in her tummy. I will give her some special oil to help make the fur ball pass through her, and I will trim the fur ball off her back, off her back. Lily then gives Fluffy the special oil. And she cuts the fur ball off Fluffy's back. She gives her a brush. Lily then says, "Tessa, you need to look after your cat. Look after your cat." She then waves them both goodbye. Goodbye. 
Lily thinks to herself, I wish people would take better care of their pets. Okay, kids, here is another word. Do you know what it is? Do you know what type of pet Fluffy is? That's right, she is a cat. K-A-T, cat. Awesome. It is another patient. It is Matt and his pet chicken called Chucky. Chucky is clacking away and passing gas explosively. <laughs> Hi, Matt, says Lily. What is wrong with Chucky? Chucky has a sore tummy, explained Matt. How did that happen, says Lily. How did that happen? Matt looks a bit sheepish. Well, it was like this. We were at the farmhouse and I couldn't be bothered feeding Chucky each day. I was doing too many fun things, like playing with my friends, playing my guitar, doing handstands. I would jump up and down. Jump, up, and down. And run around. All kinds of fun things. But Chucky was getting really hungry, and she kept sneaking into the kitchen. And she ate, and she ate, and she ate. Until, well, she almost exploded. I did not feed her. I did not feed her. Matt, you did not take care of Chucky, did you? Said Lily. Chucky is getting fat because she is not eating properly. It is really important that you feed your pet. You feed your pet. If she doesn't eat anything, she will starve. And she eats human food. She might get sick. She needs to eat the right food, otherwise she will grow fat. She will grow fat. And she might get sick. Matt looks sad. He says, sorry Chucky, I will look after you better now. Chucky just passes more gas. Might be time to put the fan on now, says Lily. Bye bye Matt. Bye bye Chucky. Right, kids, what about this word? Do you know what it is? I'll give you a clue. What would happen to Chucky if she ate too much food? She would get... That's right, she would get fat. F-A-T. Fat, great. What a busy day for Lily. She is now driving home in her car. Lily thinks to herself, I wish people would be more careful with their pets. I don't want the pets to get sick or hurt. They must do better. They must do better. Then her phone rings. Lily thinks I shouldn't take this call. I might be distracted and crash the car. But it is her friend Tessa calling her, and she just can't resist, and picks up the phone. She starts talking, hi Tessa, but oh no, Prickly the Hedgehog is crossing the road. He's in front of the car. Lily doesn't see Prickly till the last minute because she is on her phone. Prickly dives out of the way and ends up on his side. He is on his side. He is on his side. I'm sorry, Prickly, I was bad. I was bad. I should not have been on my phone and driving. Luckily, Lily had her first aid kit in the car. She bandages up Prickly and takes him to the vet clinic to make sure he is better. Lily thinks to herself, I was telling everyone all day to take better care of their animals. 
Then I almost ran over Prickly because I was driving and talking on the phone. I was very silly. I was very silly. Here is another word. Do you know what it is? What was Lily driving when she almost hit Prickly? It is a... That's right! It is a car! Ah, uh, er, Car! Totally excellent! Right kids, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Remember to look after your pets. They need you to care for them and help them. Oh, oh Chucky. Bye! See you later! Ha <laughs> ha!